Yo, what's up, guys? How's it going? Back here with round five. Uh, World's 2018 World Championship Pokemon TCG World Championship VOD review. Uh, we got Tyler Ninamora. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his opponent's name. Uh, I'm going to call him Vind. Uh, Tyler's playing Buzzwool, Trash Lanch, uh, Shrine deck. Uh, turn one, he's Ultra Balling. Uh, and see, a Rangaroo. So probably has a dead hand. Um, <clears throat> Shuffle tap. Yeah, so pretty good start actually, uh going on here from Tyler. Um and he gets an N. Yeah, so he's got the he's got the Diancy, he's got the buzzle, he's got the cho a choice pin, he's got an energy for it. Uh use the Rangaroo to draw into the end, ending the way. Um probably looking for either probably looking for Remoraid. Remoraid's probably like the ideal thing to draw here. Set up the Octillery. <clears throat> See, no Remoraid, no way to get Remoraid. Maybe an Ultra Ball, but he's choosing not to use it. Go over to Vind. I, I don't know if it was an Ultra Ball for sure. I can't really tell. Uh, and Vind got end into a pretty good hand here. Uh, Rolts, Rolts, Zerua, Zerua, and then he ends. He had Parallel City in hand, and it could have been pretty disruptive to Tyler, but he, early on, um, he just needs to make sure he can deal with the, um, deal with the, uh, the Shrines of Punishment. He has to be able to deal with the Shrines. Uh, so not a great six cards to draw here from Vind. Um, choosing not to attach. Uh, I almost would like to see him attach to the... The Ralts, I think. Yeah, I guess I guess not. That's fine. <clears throat> There's Remory top deck from Tyler. And he plays Cynthia. <laughs> I love the way Tyler looks away when he shuffles the deck. It looks really funny. Uh, making sure it's six. There's six. And he's just going to knock out pass. He's choosing not to put down the Brooklet Hill. Um, I don't know. He has everything set up that he needs for fighting Pokemon, really. I would have just played on the Brooklet Hill, get out of the deck as Tyler. Um, that's one of the things with this deck. There's not a lot of thinning in the deck. Um, so you just kind of want to play stuff out as you draw it. I would have played down that Brooklyn Hill as Tyler. Um, uh, maybe he knows Vind does play the Parallel City. Uh, but he has like three other, at least three other Shrines of Punishment. I think he plays two Brooklyn Hill, three Shrines. So like he has other ways to get rid of it. Um, over to Vind's, he's using Tabu Lele. Looks like he's going for Mallow. What is he, I think he's probably going to yeah, Ultra Ball and then trade into Candy Guardi, I guess. Which isn't great here. So I'm not a huge fan of this play. Let's see what he does. Mallow, Candy. Oh, you can get Candy. Oh, no, Candy DC wouldn't knock it out. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this, but I, I don't like this play actually from Vin. I think he should have Laylaid for Cynthia um, and just played Cynthia. Ultra Ball for a Zorak. Put Zorak in play. Lele um, for Cynthia. I don't like this play from Vin at all. I don't like this is... You have to leave your hand with nothing, and you're not even knocking out his active. Uh, Ultra Ball for Zorak. Play Cynthia. Try and get Candy Gallade. Um, which I think the Gallade is in the deck. I think he only plays one Gallade as well. Um, uh, I don't know if I saw it, actually. Now he's having to Mallow for Cynthia Candy. He's going to trade into those. He's going to go with... Uh, oh, he's probably going to use up his whole hand, so he's actually going to go for the uh, Sycamore instead, but he's only hitting the puzzle for 60. I don't. I really do not like this play at all. Um, just go for the Cynthia play off the Lele. Once again, Ultra Ball for Zork, Lele for Cynthia. Try and find the the combo if not whatever this matchup is actually pretty favored for uh vind i'm calling vind Ojvind is maybe how you pronounce i'm just gonna call him vind um hope i'm not offending anyone with that uh <laughs> it's just such a weak play you got like nothing done for your turn like i would rather just dig for it if i whiff give a baralts whatever who cares uh, yeah, i really do not like this play i think you should definitely have gone with um just lately for cynthia ultra ball for zork play cynthia hopefully drawn to uh candy alley um, over to Tyler. He's got Trubbishes. He's got N. Uh, he's got a Rainbow. Looks like he's going to commit that to the Buzzwall. Looks fine to me. Um, once again, I think he should just play down the Brooklet. He has like all the fighting Pokemon he's going to need. And he's going to go with Attack. Uh, choosing also not to venture Trubbish. He's going to leave the bench space open. Not a whole ton of items in the discard pile. So Trash Hunt isn't necessary currently. Um, I think he's also playing around uh, Parallel City here by not playing down the Trubbish, which is fine. I think I would have played down a Trubbish. He's maybe playing a little slow. Ultra Ball away Zorak. Candy. I don't know why he Ultra Balls away Zorak and not... Um, what's it called here? The Mew. Maybe he's going to trade the Mew and he wants to keep the rest. I guess that works, yeah. Premonition for five. Oh, and he plays an Octillery. So I'm assuming just a 1-1 one -one Octillery, but still, that's actually pretty... That's interesting. And there we go. Sensitive Blade for the knockout. Uh, and now, I mean, I don't know. See, this is what... This is, I don't know. I wasn't... Like, he didn't bench a Trubbish... Now he's getting punished. Now Tyler's getting punished for not benching Trubbish. There's plenty of items for him to have gone trash line. He also attaches a rainbow here when he has Trubbish in hand. I actually don't like that at all. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, 
I don't know, Tidham Trash Line seems pretty good. So I think I think as Tyler, I would have liked to have seen him bench Trubbish and then hold the rainbow. Yeah, yeah. I think Tyler should have bench Trubbish hold rainbow there last turn. I don't know what I don't yeah, this game plan's super weird. There's no reason not to bench a Trubbish. If you top deck a trash line, you want to be able to evolve it. Um, get out of the deck. Rainbow energy is super important to make sure you save for Trash Alanche in general. Um, and now he's walking into this spot where he actually just can't deal with his Gallade. Uh, so I definitely would have liked to have seen him. Now he puts down Brooklyn. Like, once again, why is he putting down Brooklyn Hill now? I don't like this either. <laughs> definitely should I feel like he should have put down Brooklyn Hill last turn. Oh, I guess if he was holding the hand, though, then putting Brooklyn Hill down a little slower is fine. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. If he if he's holding the hand, he doesn't want to get Parallel City. He wants to be able to open it back up to bench Trumpishes, but he should have benched a Trumpish at least last turn. Um, and then I guess he'll hold Brooklyn Hill is okay. Gonna go with a baby buzzle here. Um, still has no answer to this Gallade, so I don't know. I don't like getting baby buzzle here. I'd much rather see him bench double Trubbish, because if he can't move his Orangaru, and then Vind just goes Guzma knockout Trubbish, you have no way to kill the Gallade again, again on the next turn. Um. Okay, so he's got Guzma on Zorark. Yeah, so now if Vind just has Guzma knockout Trubbish, you have no way to KO the Gallade. And he has Lele in hand. So we should just see Guzma KO Trubbish here from Vind. Uh, oh no, but then he can KO back with the Sledgehammer, I guess. That would open up Sledgehammer turn. Uh, so I guess you don't want to do that. He is going to go Wonder Tag and get Guzma. Okay, so he's going for a Guzma play. Uh, but it sh uh, hopefully it's not for the Trubbish, because then he just gets Sledgehammer. He's just going to Sledgehammer knock it out. Five. Um, it's gonna get, it looks like he's going to line up DCE puzzle. Oh, he hasn't traded yet. I would like to have seen him. I think he should have traded before Prem. Tra I think, yeah, he should have definitely Premonition traded before he lay laid for uh, Guzma. Why would you want to put another Lele on your bench? It doesn't make any sense. Use save the Lele for the next turn. He That's a big, that's actually a pretty big sequencing error there by Vin. Vin definitely should have gone uh, Gallate Premonition top five at the beginning of his turn. Look for the Guzma. He knows what he wants. You find it there, great. If not, maybe you still trade into a couple of those cards. If not, then you just go Lele for Guzma, and then you trade, or you trade beforehand, and then still Lele for Guzma. But this, I don't like this play at all. Uh, we are going to see Guzma. Okay, go Guzma go after Diancy. I like this. This means Sledgehammer with a strong can't return KO. He will. He can get the KO with the Trash Lanch, but uh, he needs more for that. So, Tyler's thinking. Yeah, go Trubbish. I think this is just what you want to do here. I don't know why Tyler has... Tyler also has just been choosing not to play... Well, he played Guzma last turn. It was a couple turns before that, he was just not playing draw supporters, uh, which I'm not a big fan of. You definitely want to find cards... Good cards. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, I'm not a big fan of that rainbow attachment to the Buzzle. It's so weak on Buzzle, and you need him for Trash Alanche. Um, he finds Trash Alanche, but no rainbow. He finds Flowstone, though, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> He also has the shrine if he wants to do that. So he's gonna have to go in with sledgehammer on this this galate here, I think. There we go. And sledge for oh, and their stadium replacement. Busted. 120. The whole squad on the bench takes 10 damage. Alright, over to Vind. Vind definitely wants to go with knocking out active as well as removing the shrine. Could also knock out. Uh, I don't know if you want to knock out the trash lanch. So he's going to go for Mallow. Yep. Play the Mallow. So he's going for Puzzle. He's playing on double puzzling. Puzzle. Parallel City. Parallel City does. Oh, Parallel City is actually very nice here because there's a lot of good Pokemon on Tyler's bench. Yeah, so Parallel City Puzzle here works very well. He's got a puzzle in hand. Um, let's see, we'll see if he uses the puzzles this turn. He might hold on to them for a turn. There we go. Parallel City. Um... There's nothing really... I don't think he needs anything from Double Puzzle here. Uh, he's eyeing up some cards, though. Max Potion, Puzzle. Well, he better not... Okay. So I don't like this Max Potion at all. Just let the Galley get knocked out. Because if you Max Potion it, there's still a chance Tyler knocks it out through Trash Alliance anyway. So you're just wasting a Max Potion, wasting a Double Puzzle. Uh, it was. It would be fine if he Double Puzzle Max Potion the Guardy. But instead he's Max Potion the I really do not like this Max Potion on the Galley. This is actually really bad. Because Tyler can still knock it out with Trash Alanche. And then if he does, then you just wasted a double puzzle for the turn. Just get the puzzle and hand save for next turn. Probably Max Potion the Guardi next turn. And then GX next turn with the Guardi. Um, I really do not like this play from Vind at all. Um, go back over to Tyler. I don't know why Tyler's also just not evolving. to. I guess oh, saving the Trash Alanche there was kind of nice. Because it, it, it gave off the illusion that he doesn't have it. So I actually kind of liked holding Trash Alanche there from Tyler. 
uh, which might have affected Vin's play. It's like, oh, all he needs is a Rainbow Energy then. Yeah. And we see Stretcher, hopefully, probably for one here. Yeah, get that Rainbow right back. And then Ruck for two. And then probably just Sycamore. You just need to see cards here as Tyler. And if we see a Rainbow, there it is. There's the Rainbow. We're going to see Vin get punished for that Max wasn't sure. Then he maybe could have got Sledgehammer knocked out. Um, but still, you just GX and put everything back in the deck, and then you're good to go. Plenty of items there. And Trash Lance knockout. Boom. The whole squad takes 10. Uh, so here's where we will see probably Vin to go with the... They ideally would have been really nice here if he had gone Max Potion, Guardi, and then GX attack. That would have been very nice to see um, on this turn from Vin. But now he's kind of stuck. He's probably going to GX attack still. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, we need to get rid of the stadium. Lower. He's going to trap the trash lunch active. And then go with a Cynthia. But I don't know if he has enough. I don't know if he can. I, he has a lot of items in there. He might have too many items to get them all back. So the trash lunch can probably still hit him with trash lunch. Um, and we'll see. All right. Trade that Bridget. There's a Guardi. Comes a Rules. Yeah, definitely get a Ralts in play. And then GX. Puzzles. Max Potion. See, it would have been so nice to have like a full HP Guardi here. Um, he could have, like, double puzzled for, what did he end up getting? He got Max Potion Puzzle. He could have gotten Max Potion Mallow, Mallowed into a different Fairy Energy. Um, and then, for something else as well, Mallow into Fairy Energy something, and then GX there. But, uh, and not as big of a fan of this play from Vind, where he Max Potion the Gallade. And which, and if Tyler just has Trash Launch, he punishes you so hard. Sure, he could just KO through Sledgehammer still, but, like, I feel like that doesn't really even matter. Like you're, you're like you should be really okay with that if he knocks you out through sledgehammer. Um, now back over to Tyler. Doesn't have a whole lot going on in his hand. Uh, he can still trash lance for some. He like Vind was not able to get rid of all the items out of his discard pile. There was a lot of items in there. Vind is also playing the Evo Soda over what's it called? Uh, Timer Ball, which I'm not a big fan of. So he plays three Stretcher. Holy moly, that's a lot of Rescue Stretcher in Tyler's deck. Three Rescue Stretcher. All right. He's always getting the squad back. Probably probably to deal with Parallel City is the main reason. All right. Five from Tyler. All right. Those are some pretty good cards to see, especially the special charge. Whenever you hit the special charge for the two energy, it that's too, it feels so good in this deck, the Buzzwall, Trash Lanch deck. Um, Trubbish comes down. He can attach yeah, attach to Buzzwall and then a Missile Hand for four. Well, he should have probably actually used what's it called first there. I don't know why he didn't use what's it called first. He should have instructed first. Um, yeah, he definitely should have instructed first. Or maybe he didn't. Maybe he already instructed. I don't remember. Uh, trade for two. Definitely should have instructed first if he didn't, though. So we're going to see Tyler attack for 20, I think. So maybe there's one item left in the, the discard pile. And we see Vind attack back. Hit the <clears throat> Garbodor for 60. Ultra Ball from Tyler. He's eyeing up a Trash Lance. There's no reason not to take the Trash Lance there, I feel like. Why wouldn't he just take the Trash Lance? I don't think he plays Ability Lock Garb. Just take the Trash Lance there. Put it in play. Choosing not to. Beast Energy to the other Buzzle. Instruct for two. There's the Instruct now. Lower away. I don't even know what he blowed away there. The Floatstone. He's got Guzma. Definitely go take out that Zorok, I think, on Vin's side. Um, there's no reason to let, let him continue to have that in play. They definitely go take out that Zorok. Yep, there we go. Now Tyler just needs two prizes. He's going to go with the one with the Beast Energy. I like that. Save the Choice Band for later. Uh, Yeah, save the Choice Band for later. That seems fine. Uh, and yeah, there we'll see Vind Scoop. Uh, so I think played a little sloppy from both players. Tyler early on, he could have, I don't know, just uh, I bench the Trubbish, hold the Rainbow Energy was like the big turn where it was like definitely questionable for me. Bench the Trubbish. Uh... <laughs> Bench the Trubbish, hold the Rainbow Energy. You might want to set up Trash Lance next turn, so bench the Trubbish, because you never know. Uh, and then he did get punished by not benching Trubbish and attaching the Rainbow Energy. Vin set up a um, Gallade, uh, which is just a possibility. His, his deck can just do that. He set up a Gallade, swung with Gallade. Uh, Tyler had no answer. I'm pretty sure there was enough items in the discard pile for discard pile for it to have been knocked out. Um, and then we saw Vin make a couple major misplays, I think. The Mallow on the turn two, I think, was a mistake. Just go for the Cynthia, draw some cards. Uh, if you don't set it up there, that's fine. Uh, you can set it up on the next turn, the, the Guardi or the Galley. Setting up Guardi there just doesn't really do that much. If you could set up Galley that turn, that would have been very nice from Vin, but he set up a Guardi. 
it just doesn't really do too much. Um, and then the max potion on the Gallade was super poor, I think, as well. Save this whole Mallow for the double puzzle or the puzzle and whatever else he needed that turn. Just hold it for next turn and then make a play from there. Uh, so I think it's, it's a super poor play. Uh, two very big mistakes from Vin there, um, which ultimately ultimately leads to Tyler winning game one. All right, now we'll have Vin going first. Um, so this matchup is, I think, generally favored for Vin's deck if it's played correctly. I think it was played pretty poorly there on Vin's side. Um, so we did see Tyler taking the game one. Um, uh, setting up Gallade. Well, basically, what Vin wants to do is just set up Gallade. Uh, turn one, uh, aggressively. Turn one? Yeah, turn one. Set up Gallade, turn one as Vin. Um, or not turn one, turn two Gallade. <laughs> Can't set up turn one Gallade. Turn two Gallade and just start swinging, draw as many prizes as possible with Gallade. Gallade's just like, the best attacker in this matchup for him. Um, and then transition into like a Guardi GX attack at some point and get all your items back and then just sweep with Guardi. Um, and then on Tyler's side, you kind of just punch with whatever you have and hope is enough. Try you definitely want to try and activate Sledgehammer for value and then just go from there. So we have to turn one Bridget from Vint. He actually plays Artillery. Yeah, that's what we saw in the first game. The 1-1 one -one Artillery. That's interesting. Not a huge fan of that personally, but see what he can do with it. Uh, so I would definitely get the, the Remorite out turn one. Bridget probably for uh, Remoraid, Zerua, Zerua, or Ralts, Zerua, Remoraid would also be fine, I guess. Um, he's got another Ralts in hand, so actually Zerua, Zerua, Remoraid definitely makes more sense. There we go. So pretty good, great opening start here from Vind. Uh, he's got the Zerua, Zerua, Remoraid. He's got r double Ralts. Um, and Tyler has a, a, a Rangu reactive. He does have the Diancy, so there's still a good shot that he'll be able to not, uh, knock out the Ralts turn one. Um, but I still like this attachment here from Vind, attaching to the active. Flows on active. Bench of Trubbish. Get, get access to Trash Lanch. Just in case he overcommits items. You don't have to like commit two Trubbishes this early into the game, but at least put one down. Um, make it so he has to worry about it. Oh, and there he does. He does draw the baby Buzzle and the strong energy. So pretty fortunate there from Tyler, and he will be able to get the, the turn one knockout on one of the Ralts. Um, looks like we have Sycamore in hand for... Ooh, that's a very good top three to see there. Vind... Uh, looking for that, looks like he's going to be able to set up that turn to Gallade. And he now, if he can just avoid putting, and that's what he's doing with this Ultra Ball here, getting rid of N and DCE, if he can just avoid putting items in the discard pile. Um, well, I don't see Gallade. It looks like Gallade's prized. So that's definitely, if he only plays the one Gallade, which I assume he does then, uh, that's something, definitely something you want to check on your first search. Uh, Gallade, especially in a matchup where Gallade's important, like this one, you should definitely want to check if your Gallade is in your deck. Uh, so that's a big mistake there by Vind, not knowing if Gallade was in this deck or not. Um, lower, Abyssal Hand. He's still going to be able to set up Guardi, um, which isn't terrible, but he doesn't have a Fairy Energy. There's two Fairy Energy in deck. I don't think he's traded yet, so he can still trade into it, I guess. Um, yeah, this is way worse than what he was initially looking to have set up. Maybe he'll just retreat the Guardian pass. Yeah, there, yep, there it goes. Retreat to Lele, pass. Um, wow. All right, well, he's already down a ton of resources. He definitely needs to GX early here. Uh, yeah, not checking that his Guardi was prized is actually a big mistake there from Vind. Um, Sycamore from Tyler. Ooh, not a great hand here from Tyler. I think he has Remoraid, though, so that means... Nope, does not have Remoraid. Sudo coming down is pretty nice, but he has plenty of stuff going on for a couple turns. Um... Yeah, I don't see a reason not to get that energy attachment in play from, from Tyler. May as well attach the, the basic psychic to the trash alliance here. I was thinking about attaching the strong active. I don't hate that either, actually. Uh, but there's a good chance that Guardi would, would knock him out. He'd go like double puzzle, and that would, that would probably be a knockout there on the uh, the baby puzzle. <laughs> Pistol hand for three, and it looks like he has Mallow. Evil Soda for another Zorak, so the items are starting to get up there. I don't know if I would like to see... I don't think I want to see Vind go into GX just yet, but maybe, actually. Maybe see him go into GX attack here. Um, he's got a lot of stuff in the discard pile. Um, he does have Mallow in hand, I think. So there's the first trade, and now we should see Mallow and then another trade. I don't know what he's going to grab. I'm interested to see what he grabs. Looks like he's eyeing up a max potion. I don't think you need... Ma I don't need a max potion this late. This late is just going to go down. Just let it go. Trade. Yeah, I don't like this max potion take here. I don't even... What is he going to max? Field blower's good. Max potion's good. And DC just swing. Maybe that is the best play for him. Okay, but I guess if he's going to attack with it, that's actually just fine then, I guess. And then next turn, maybe you look to go into Guardi, clean it up, and then go from there. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I don't hate that. Um, I don't hate going for the Guardi there then. 
Uh, back over to Tyler. He's got the Ultra Ball away. Two basic, uh, two special energy, and then the special charge follow up, which is very nice. Um, there it goes. I don't know what he's gonna get here. I'm interested. It looks like he's gonna go for the Reggie Rock. All right, there comes Reggie Rock. Um, Pone has no idea what it does. Um, special charge. Stretcher. Okay, so he has an artillery in there. Okay, I was wondering why he didn't Ultra Ball away the Stretcher and keep like the strong energy to attach. Um, because he has the artillery in the discard pile. Um, and then he has Choice Band, which will attach active, and then a Rangaroo for three. And then probably just go ahead and Sycamore. You just need to draw cards here as uh, as Tyler. Just draw cards. You see, need to see some new stuff. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably attach Strong to the Reggie Rock, and then attack. I don't see much else going on in his hand. He's got Brooklet Hill. Probably wants to save that until he can use it to find Remoraid. So he's just going to hold on to that. Maybe another Buzzwall, I guess, set up for the Sledgehammer. Uh, we got Vind counting items. Definitely, definitely would like to see him go into what's it called here. Yep. Oh, why is he Malloween first? That's so bo that's so poor. That's a really poor sequencing there from Vind. Um, he just drew in Mallowed, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't like that at all. Draw. He draws Mallow. You definitely want to go with Abyssal Hand. See what you get. Trade away N. See what you get. Then you go Mallow. Get the card. Two cards you need based off the other cards you drew. And then you go from there. This is actually very poor sequencing from Vin. You don't want to use this Mallow if you don't have to. And he's already like committing to cards. It looks like Puzzle and something else. So we'll be able to use Double Puzzle. But still, I don't like I don't like that at all. Um, if you know you're doing, if you're gonna do a Double Puzzle play, you already know what you want, which means um, I don't even know if he knows what he wants. Treat okay. Double Puzzle. You definitely don't need a max push in this Lele off the bench this turn, though. Just let this Lele dot, get knocked out. Like, it just doesn't do anything for you to max push in this Lele. Don't take max push, please. He's eyeing up Mallow DCE. And he hasn't even used trades yet, so he doesn't even know what he has access to in his hand. But it looks like he's going for GX. Did he not even Abyssal Hand there? I think he missed Abyssal Hand, too. Or did he Abyssal Hand into the items? Double puzzle. Maybe he wants to leave his hand open so he could Abyssal Hand next turn? Doesn't really make any sense. Yeah, I think this, was, this turn was played super poorly by Vind. He should have Abyssal Handed first, traded once, uh, then Mallowed if he whiffed what he wanted. Uh, yeah, this was played super poorly. There's a GX. Yeah, this was actually just played super poorly by Vind. He didn't trade. He didn't do either trades. He didn't He didn't Octillery. Uh, he didn't have to use the Mallow. He could have just uh, Abyssal Handed, then traded, and then decided if he wanted to even use Mallow. Yeah, this was played just very poorly on this turn by, uh, by Vind here. Not great. Um, and we'll probably see him get punished for it down the line. Um, yeah, that was played super poorly. I don't know. Let's see it. Over to Tyler. He still has like four or five items in there too. So it's not looking good for him here. This, this game should be close. Tyler should be able to win this game eventually. He still has six prizes. Um... Galley Bean Prize was a big deal, of course, early on, but he should have known that and shouldn't have sacrificed the resources he did to try and find Gallade. Um So we see Guzma, yeah. Regirock gonna get the clean knockout on that Zorark. That's what Regirock does best. Regirock's actually pretty big uh, is a beast uh at KOing Zoroarks. Very good at it. <laughs> Strong choice to Ancy, knockout. There we go. You guys got it. Math's hard. Um, draw from Vind. I see a DCE attachment. So he's going to be able to get the knockout here. Going with, ah, why are you mallowing before? Abyssal uh, Hand. Uh, is this fine this turn, though? Maybe this is fine this turn. Because he just shuffled. No, he shuffled his deck. No, why are you mallowing before Abyssal Hand? Abyssal Hand first. Uh, this is super poor from Vind. Once again, super poor sequencing. Um, just, just Abyssal Hand first, and then you have a trade after to use it with the mallow. All right. Trading away Lele. I, th I think I'm fine with that. I can't really see what the hand is. What are you Ultra Balling for, though? He Ultra Balled away a Fairy Energy. That's a big deal. That's good. I don't know what he's Ultra Balling for here. As a rule. You don't need another another Zorak at this point. His, he has, like, no deck left, and he has Abyssal Hand plus a trade. You're going to draw your whole deck anyways. But I don't like that Ultra Ball getting rid of a Fairy Energy from Vind as well. Uh, it just puts another item in your discard pile, really. There's the Perilous City. You should see Sudowoodoo and probably a Rangaroo. Maybe the Trubbish go. From Tyler's side, but he has the uh, he has the Brooklyn Hill in hand, so I think he probably gets rid of a Rangaroo here. I would keep the Trubbish, I think. Yeah, I don't, I don't like getting rid of Trubbish there. Don't you have? Yeah, you have Brooklyn Hill Ultra Ball, which means you'll be able to set up the Artillery in two turns. Uh, unless he wants to dig this turn, I guess. 
to try and get the swing around knockout. And he's doing the math on that right now. Um, so I just want to go back to Vin's turn real fast. That was like played super poorly by Vin. Like that was so unnecessary to ultra ball. You have the knockout. Just get the knockout with the active. Don't ultra ball. Uh, abyssal hand for one or two. I, why do you need as a Rua? Bench that Ralt. Oh, he benched the Ralt. Attach the fairy to the Ralt, maybe. Abyssal hand trade. Don't ultra ball for as a Rua. You don't need a Rua anymore. You have so much draw power in play. This, this game has been a lot of super poor sequencing, I think, on uh, Vin's side for sure. Um, so I think we'll see the Brooklyn come down here from Tyler. He has plenty of time to play the Shrine. Um, he's going to blow her as well. Just get the blower out of his deck, I think. Um, and then we'll see the Brooklyn Hill come down and he'll Brooklyn Hill for uh, the Remoraid. Um, wants to get to the Octillery eventually. Is Octillery even in there? I don't think I saw him. And then we'll go with, he'll go with the Cynthia. I almost would have liked to have seen him Ultra Ball for a Trubbish. Um, I don't know why he doesn't Ultra Ball for Trubbish. There's a lot of items in Vin's discard pile. Now we might see him Ultra Ball for Trubbish. Definitely want to see a Trubbish come out here. I don't know why he didn't Ultra Ball for Trubbish with the last hand. I don't know if he had enough stuff to get rid of. So swing around, we'll, one heads will swing around here, we'll knock out the Guardy. You definitely go for it on um, Tyler's side. Oh no, he can set up for Sledgehammer, so he hasn't used Sledgehammer yet. So he should actually get, oh no, but he has two Baby Buzzle Prize. So he's going for a Trubbish here now. Uh, he has two Baby Buzzle Prize, so he can't actually go for that. Um, I think he has plenty of stretchers left, so he'd rather have the Choice Band. Then the Garbodor, Chuck for two. Ooh, there's the Octillery about to come out. And here we go, swing around. He needs uh, one heads here. Uh, double Tails, that's unfortunate. So he's going to get him up to 210 damage. Uh, so he needed the one heads. One heads would have got him that knockout there. Um, so kind of unfortunate there for Tyler. Uh, but he's still in a commanding spot, a very commanding spot here. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to utilize Sledgehammer because he did prize two Buzzwolves. I think he just he didn't draw any prizes. Um, so there's two Buzzwolves prize. So that's why he's not going to be able to use Sledgehammer here, unfortunately. Um So we see double puzzle here from Vind. He's eyeing up some cards. He did Abyssal Hand first here, I think. So it's good to see he's he's doing that. I think they're recounting the damage. It is a knockout. Or it is a it is doing that much damage. Close to knockout. Um double puzzle. It looks like he's grabbing Mallow something. He's going for Mallow. Zork, Max Potion. Max Potion in the Guardi is very nice here. Um, unless there's enough items for a trash line to just one shot you, then it's not so nice. There's a lot of items in there. <laughs> I think he is maybe getting one shot by trash line at this point. And Tyler's drawing a lot of cards next turn. He has Instruct, Abyssal Hand, Cynthia. Like he's he's drawing a lot of cards next turn. If this guardy goes down, um, I think the game is pretty much over anyways. Um, so Vind is kind of living, living on a uh, hope and a prayer here. <clears throat> Um, so Tyler's, I don't know what Tyler's debating here. Should probably just send up the, oh, he's actually running low on stretchers. This is why I would like to have seen him a bit, uh, get the, what's it called out before, get the Trubbish out before he used the Cynthia. Um, okay, there we go. All right, that's it. That's the rainbow. It's the rainbow. That's the ultra ball for the, um, stretch lanch. If he has one left. Oh, looks like he maybe doesn't. Because I think he probably would have Ultra Ball there if he had Trash Lanch in deck, so maybe he's looking for Stretcher then. See what he gets. Three, four, five, six. Oh, there's the Stretcher. But he doesn't have a way to move his active. Um, looking at Ultra Ball now. He might stretch it for three first and put in... What does he have in his discard pile? It's hard for me to tell. Puts in Trubbish, Trash Lines, Trash Lines, potentially with the stretcher. He's Ultra Balling away two rainbows. That's interesting. So he's actually just... He still has energy left, though. He's got Trubbish and... Uh, he, had, he had a Trash Lines in the deck. Okay. And now he's going to go with Stretcher, Baby Buzzle, Reggie Rock. Uh, and he needs another Trash Lines because he has a Trubbish in there, but no Trash Lines. So yeah, he needs to take the Trash Lines here. Uh, he might Brooklet Hill for one of them. There's no reason not to, right? Yeah, just get the baby buzzle. You still have access to Slash Hammer currently. You don't know if Vind is going to take a knockout. And then I would evolve that. Yeah, evolve that trash line to protect it. I think you can instruct for one right now. Lower away his own Brooklet, instruct for two. Uh, nothing huge. <clears throat> I would not bench that Reggie Rock if I was Tyler. Leave the spot open for another Trubbish in case Vind doesn't take a knockout on his turn, which is possible. Yeah, and there we go. We see the pass. <clears throat> So Vind really needs a Guzma knockout on that Garbodor here this turn. There's another Zorark. Uh, trade away, I don't know. Ultra Ball here. 
<clears throat> I don't know how many energy he actually has left. He needs to knock out that trash lanch, though. He has Guzma in hand, I think. Oh, he's going to go ahead and Guzma immediately. Secret Spring. Okay. And then I believe Abyssal Hand should be his next move. One, two, three. And then he needs to trade into DCE or something. I don't see anything there. Yep, and I guess we're just going to see the scoop from Vin there at the end there because he, he did with the DC, and I don't think he was going to win the game. They were actually running out of time, so um, I think Tyler was going to be able to get it anyways. Maybe time had already been called on their table. Um, so I think it was actually, so this game, uh, there was a couple missteps, I think, on Tyler's side. Like, a couple times he just didn't, like, bench Trubbish or Ultra Ball for Trubbish. There was one up here. Uh, was it this one, actually, specifically? Yeah, he could No, 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 it's the hand before. Let me take a look at the hand before. I'm actually curious. Um... <clears throat> do, do, do. the hand before so i think it was this hand yeah he's debating about it yeah so he could ultra ball yeah just ultra ball away and oh no is this the hand after again yeah he had already played the cynthia so it's before he played cynthia i'm curious as to what the hand was maybe he, he didn't have oh, this is this hand it's ultra ball ultra ball and oh mm. Lower, Brooklet. Oh, if that's special charge, you probably don't want to get rid of special. No, no, it's a, it's a thing. Okay, so he doesn't actually have cards to Ultra Ball away. Okay, that was fine to not Ultra Ball there. Um, but there was a turn in the last game, right, where, or maybe the beginning of this game, where he attaches, no, it was the last game, where he attaches the rainbow, doesn't bench the Trubbish, where he should just bench the Trubbish and then hold the rainbow. Um, Vind was just actually a lot of poor sequencing. Uh, game one, he went too aggressive with that Mallow play, I think way too aggressive. Game two, he prized the Galley, but should have checked that, especially when you only play one Galley and it's huge in this matchup. If you can get Galleyed out with only three items in your discard pile or less, it's just busted. Um, so I think just pretty poor sequencing consistently from Vind. Uh, Tyler made a couple of missteps for sure, I think, but I think Vind overall could have played this game way cleaner and had gave himself a way better chance um this is a matchup maybe he hasn't played a lot you know it's kind of a new matchup for the, the meta they were playing and doesn't quite understand um but yeah uh played pretty poorly from vent and that's why we see tyler taking it pretty cleanly actually overall um so yeah tyler ends up being the winner 2-0 and that's gonna do it for round five uh day one swiss at the pokemon tcg 2018 world championships vod review from me uh if you did enjoy the video Give it a like if you enjoy the content. Subscribe. Constructive criticism is, as always, is welcome in the comment section down below. Uh, links in my description. Twitch, Twitch live stream, Twitter, all the fun stuff like that. Check that out if you want. If not, that's also fine. Have a good day, guys, and peace.